Do 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 do. It's the Lee and Joel Batch Cooking Show. Woo! Hello, I'm Leah. I'm Joel. And uh, today we're going to be batch cooking. So last year when we were training, we got really busy, and we found that we didn't have time to cook healthy meals. So we went to My Fit Foods, which was great because it had little you know microwave meals that were healthy and good for you and all that. But there was always something missing. It was either missing like sauce or veggies or just something wasn't was off. So we would add our own stuff. So now that we have a little more time, we're making our own fit foods. So we're gonna be batch cooking uh, three or four meals every weekend. Every weekend. And uh, Joel can tell you the menu. The menu this week is shepherd's pie, chicken enchilada casserole, Mongolian chicken with stir fry, and pasta for soup? Pasta fajoule. Pasta fajoule soup. Mm. All right, so we got four of dishes. Four dishes. Usually we do three, but we were going to be scanning over a longer period this time until we can cook. So, so that's the time. menu this time. That's the menu. Next is ingredients. So this is going to be most of the ingredients for the shepherd's pie. The meat is off the screen because it's leaky and weird, but it's a pound of, uh, pound of organic ground beef. We have the potatoes and the cauliflower, we're going to make cauli taters, which is just mixing all that together, mashing it up. And we throw in some sort of, you know, lovely goodness, like a little bit of sour cream, some ranch, some butter, and we will also throw in some cheese. Okay. And that'll be great. Uh, you put that on top of, or first in the pie, you put the ground beef, tomato sauce, put ground beef, tomato sauce, and uh, a bunch of the mixed veggies and then you season that up with some oregano and some pepper and some goodness you throw the potatoes on top and then you throw a little cheese you bake it in the oven and it's delicious you usually serve that with a salad and it's about if you care about calories it's about 350 400 calories per serving we'll have all that on the post at the end all right next is the pasta fazul let me separate this all the ingredients aren't here because some of them are in the stir fry. We have our uh, corn pasta, which is not refined grain, which is corn. Uh, we have our dark red kidney beans. We have our great northern beans. We have two things of beef broth. We have some spinach. We have tomato sauce again. And in it there will also be Ugh, carrots. <laughs> That's a lot of carrots. Celery, and I think some onion, and that's about it for that soup. It'll be usually served with salad and some maybe some uh, sprouted green bread. Uh, this is small counters. Not even small it's counters. It's a huge lots counter. Of, huge counters, lots of food. This is going to be our enchilada pie. Uh, we're going to kind of layer down the corn tortillas. We're going to throw, uh, this is enchilada sauce. I used a little bit of it yesterday in my tacos. Don't ask. It was wonderful. But uh, we're going to add some onions, some diced green chilies, some black beans. black beans, which I also used in my tacos yesterday, some cheese, some corn, some olives, uh, probably spinach on my half because Joel's not a fan of the idea of spinach. And... We're going to kind of make one of those micro meals and on the side we're going to put a little bit of uh, bracha beans because they just look delicious and I'm going to take some brown rice and some tomato sauce and maybe a little bit, a few of those chilies and throw them together and make some uh, Spanish rice. Okay. And the last thing is the, the, uh, what was it, Mongolian chicken and stir fry. Mongolian chicken. There are a few sort of, you know, I don't know. Pure sugar, oh my god, it's a whole teaspoon for the whole uh, six servings, so I went ahead and just went with it. Soy sauce, cornstarch, like a, a teaspoon, uh, red wine vinegar, oyster sauce, hoisin sauce, got two things of chicken, we have... Uh, onion, bell pepper, green onions, chicken broth. Yep, and that's going to be in that. And the last thing is the stir fry. Um, just pretty much anything you want to put in a stir fry and throw in some of the same type of sauce. We have water chestnuts, bamboo shoots, green beans, broccoli, 
celery, bok choy, these big bag of carrots. I'm doing cilantro and green onions also. Cilantro, green onions, maybe some of the pepper if I don't use all of it. And I'm gonna mix mine with some brown rice pasta. Joel is gonna do some either brown or white rice, depending on how healthy he feels. And that's it. Let's cook. I've already got some chicken and some chicken broth in the crock pot. That's the first thing we did today. Uh, it's to make the shredded chicken to put inside the uh, chicken enchilada casserole. And my next task now is going to be making ground beef, seasoning it up, cooking it in the pan, and then putting it in the crock pot for the pasta fajoule. The fajoule, whatever it is. Fajoule. 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 I like fajoule. I like that ghoul better. Ghoul. Ghoul. Okay. Pasta fajoule. Maybe that's the Halloween pasta. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be putting everything else in the crock pot for the pasta fajoule, uh, except for the pasta. The pasta goes in near the end. Okay, and so. that'll be our first task. We'll let you know when we're on to the next. Take three on this one. I just finished the ground beef. Here it is. It has some um, olive oil, salt, pepper, rosemary, Italian seasoning, Bless and you. basil. <laughs> Bless you, Leah. Excuse me. And uh, oh, I'm going to dump all this now into the soup. And now we're just going to dump it in the soup. Nothing special, but you know, magic is happening. Hooray! Okay, that's uh, We have chopped up celery, onion, and carrots, and we've got carrots in the soup. Lots of lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, hey, let's move the chocolates away from the crock pot. It's probably a good idea! Woo, chocolate sauce. So, already in there is the ground beef, there's oregano, there's parsley, there's pepper, there's spinach. Spinach, there's white beans, there's uh, kidney beans. That's what they're called. Not red beans, kidney beans, whatever. This all goes in here, and this is going to simmer for, well, a couple hours, probably four or five hours. And then we'll put the pasta in, and it should be just about done. I'm going to assemble another shepherd's pie. I already did one. I'm going to do two now. I'm going to put about half of a can, a quarter of a can in here. I think that's good. Sure. Oh, oh it's pretty good. That is half of a can of sauce because I used part of another can. I'm going to take the rest of the ground beef that I made. Beefy. That was about a pound and a half of ground beef. Uh, well, this is total a half pound, right? This is about a pound. And then the rest of the veggies. A lot of veggies. I like a lot of veggies. Hell yeah! Lots of veggies. Mix all that up. Add more sauce as needed. Oh, it needs. Just a little bit more sauce here. Leah likes it extra saucy. Saucy. So for this big one, I used about a whole can. Could have probably put a little extra in the little one. Is a big batch of cauli taters I made. I'll spoon it on in equal amounts. Around. So have we uh, explained what cauli taters are. Cauli taters is a bag of cauliflower, four small potatoes. They're pretty small. A uh, little bit of sour cream and a little bit of ranch dressing. As you can see, it's a little bit runny, and I like that for when doing this. It spreads really well. It spreads better. And then you're gonna put it in the oven so it will firm up as it's in there. I leave all the skins on the potatoes. I scrub them very well first. Because potato skins are delicious. Yeah. And they have lots of fiber. Just make sure to wash them because, you know, potatoes kind of grow in the mud. <laughs> yes, potatoes grow in the mud. I might have made about one potato more than I should have, just like you said. Thing is cheese. Cheese it up, baby. 
Doesn't need to be a lot, just enough to cover. And final step. Uncovered in the oven, 350. 30 minutes. And that's it. Shepherd's pie, done. Go. Okay, so next we're gonna work on the stir fry. I've already chopped up the veggies and we've, we've done them in order of the way that they're gonna go in. Uh, first we put in the broccoli, carrots, and celery because they take a little longer to cook. Then in the middle we'll do uh, bamboo shoots and water chestnuts. Then at the end, well not at the end, but last, we'll put in bok choy. There's onions and green beans. I can't stand soggy green beans. And I was going to make my own sauce, but I went through the cabinet and I found I had a whole bunch of them. So we're going to try the spicy basil stir fry, which is nice and spicy. Very spicy. Very spicy. So the first thing I've done is I have some sesame oil and some garlic in there because you can't have too much garlic. Just kind of a roasting in there. And I'm going to toss in my first veggies. You lost your broccoli. Oh no. Broccoli has been saved. Kind of toss that around. You can use vegetable oil, but sesame oil is the best. For this flavor. Asian type flavors. And then, I have this going on low, by the way. You always want to do stir fry on low, maybe medium. About half the sauce? I'm going to put about half the sauce in here. Okay. That stuff is so spicy. It is super spicy. We're going to temper it with a little bit of teriyaki and some uh, soy sauce. Okay. So we'll do that and we'll add the other two veggies later. I don't know. Maybe about 10 minutes for this, 5 minutes for the, the bamboo shoots, and then add the other ones at the end. Let that go for another 10 minutes, add the rest to the sauce, and we'll have stir fry. And next, I'm going to start on the chicken. Okay. So the stir fry is just about done. I mean, it is pretty much done. It uh, has. Woo, yummy. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of cilantro in there. Uh, we didn't want it to get too soggy, but when it reheats, it'll get warm. And we took a little break. Took a little break. Uh, mix that in. I've got it. Mm -hmm. And now, the only thing I've done besides add the veggies and the rest of the packet was add a little more um, sesame oil and some soy sauce on top. So this is all ready to go. I made a pot of brown rice noodles. Okay. And I tossed that also with sesame and soy and it's delicious just on its own. Believe me, it's taking me a lot not to just eat this. But I'll be putting a little bit in this. I'll divide this up into three and this will divide up into six. And Joel, since he's not a fan of- So that was the stir fry. I'm working on the chicken right now. So I cut up four chicken breasts into little slivery pieces and I made a marinade out of here, I've got the recipe right here. hoisin like. sauce, oh, no. oyster sauce, uh, cornstarch, sugar, soy sauce, and I think that's it for that. Oyster sauce, sugar, cornstarch, starch, hoisin, and soy sauce. Yep. Yep. Okay. And I let that marinade for about an hour actually. And now I'm cooking up the chicken. We're gonna cook it till it's nice and done. And then we're gonna take the chicken out of the pan. We're gonna add some veggies into the pan, cook it with the sauce that's in there, add some more sauce, and then throw the chicken. This is the Mongolian chicken. We have cooked the chicken, we've cut up our vegetables, we just made our sauce. Our sauce was the chicken. comprised of 
hoisin sauce, dark soy, red wine vinegar, sugar, water, chicken broth, and then cornstarch and water mixture for later. So in the pan right now, we have green onions, onion, garlic, hot pepper flakes, and it says vegetable or peanut oil. I think we're using sesame oil. We will use sesame oil. For we're that. using sesame oil for it. And we're gonna do the onions and the garlic and pepper flakes in with the sesame oil, wait till it gets going. Then we're gonna add the veggies, let them start simmering, then we're gonna add the chicken back in, and then toss the sauce in. And that should be it for the Mongolian chicken. Yay. Okay, we have the Mongolian chicken done. We floated it. For my three, they have rice on the bottom, the stir fry, and then the Mongolian chicken. These have the noodle and the Mongolian chicken and the stir fry. So here's a nice little painting of it. Mmm, mm, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Looks like it came from a Chinese takeout place, doesn't it? Woohoo! Okay, we are done with the shepherd's pie. It was actually done a while ago. I just left it in the oven. We're going to serve it up, but to show, yeah. Delicious. Looks amazing. Nice, golden, yummy cheese. And we'll show you again as soon as it's dished up in the thing. And here is the giant stack of shepherd's pie. Ah. Four meals, ready to go. I'm gonna freeze them, and then pull them out the day of, and we're good. And we're gonna eat uh, the the little one. The yeah, little one. That's that's, right that's now. today. Okay, we have one meal left. It's the enchilada casserole, and we're gonna do that after we have our own lunch. Here. So I'll see you later. Hi. 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 Okay, so this is the last one. It's an enchilada pie. Mm hmm So it's got uh, sprouted green tortillas and beans. And then, and cheese. Tortillas. Tortillas. A bunch Vegetables. of veggies. Uh, onions. Bastard. Sorry. Oh my god. Onions. Olives. Corn. Corn. Olives. Corn uh, spinach on my side. And some cheese, enchilada sauce, and we topped it with green chilies, cheese, and more enchilada sauce. And we're going to bake it 325 for probably like 30 minutes. And then slice it up in little bits, and we're going to put... This on the side, as well as some uh, Spanish rice. Spanish rice I made. All right, good Yay. stuff. Bye. Hello. So this is the finished product of the last one. This is our uh, chicken tortilla. Enchilada ish. Enchilada ish thing. thing. Um, we yeah. forgot to put the chicken on after our last yeah. video, so we, we realized to chicken. throw it on top because we had already cooked it and shredded it. So we put it on top, threw it in the oven. Put some cheese and some uh, hot sauce and some cumin on it, and it's really delicious. It just has mm. to be mixed in with the rest of it. Wonderful. It's it's pretty delicious. So we're going to cut this up into uh, six servings and put it in with some rice, which was going to be Spanish rice, but now it's just rice. Mm-hmm. Eh. What are you going to do? And some uh, barracha beans. Mm-hmm. And that will be... Uh, and maybe a few tortilla chips in there, too, just for fun. Yeah, maybe. And so there's going to be some cilantro over the... Uh... Okay. We are about to dish up the last dish of the night. Last dish of the night. So this is the tortilla casserole mm -hmm. with the chicken on top because we meant to do that. We totally meant to do that. That was on purpose. So this is one of the ones with the spinach. This will be a, this will be a meal. Woo! Woo! We'll probably put some hot sauce on there because we always do, and uh, and then I will throw a little bit of uh, cilantro on top of everything because cilantro is delicious. And that will be awesome. So I guess this is us. Uh, Signing off? We're finally done. Okay, so finally the last done. done wasn't really done. It's, it's this one. Yes, now this is done. We're done. All right. Yay, batch cooking.